Hey guys, it's your Marty Geek, and this video I want to share with you guys what's on my PlayStation 4. Yes, I don't think I've ever done a video like this. And I also want to share with you guys my PlayStation 4 setup after the latest update 4.0 that now lets you do like folders and also lets you change the cover of your PlayStation 4 uh, profile. So let's go ahead and get started. First here, what you're going to get, of course, is the PlayStation 4. This is something that you cannot move from position here. I uh, also you got what's new here from here. Of course, I can see everybody that I'm following all the latest trends and all that. And it also, if I want to comment on people, you know, like, gameplays and all that I could do it here and I can also like it as well um, here on TV and audio I have these applications right here I got the Amazon Netflix Hulu um, this right here really annoys me because these are basically ads on uh, letting me know that hey this event you can watch it if you download the WWE app um, here you can see net, uh, watch ESPN if you download the watch ESPN app but the thing is I already have these applications here look at that I have Plex I have watch ESPN I have the WWE network which of course in a couple hours I'm gonna be watching the pay-per-view you know and I have applications here that it's being advertised to me here and I it really really annoys me um, another thing here is that we cannot move you know we cannot move position these applications which kind of sucks because if that was the case i would be putting like up there youtube you know watch espn all the apps that i actually use and i have installed i would actually put them right here so i can have fast access to them but this really really annoys me sony should take th this advertisement out of there and let me come on organize my application the way i want it um next we have the playstation view uh, this is basically like a cable subscription uh, for PlayStation, and it works awesome. I have it on my Roku, on my PlayStation, on my room. I also have it here, and I use it on my cell phones and all other mobile devices. And, you know, thanks to, thanks to this application and, for example, the Sling TV, I've been able to cut the cord. So, yes, I do not have Dish Network or DirecTV or Cable Vision, anything like that. I have PlayStation View, and I love it. Um, of course, here are the games. I have organized my games in folders. Uh, like, see, here, the, the first folder here is Sports. Uh, here I'm playing Rocket League, which is has been getting a lot of awesome updates, especially the last update that came out with the gadgets that now you can launch like like um, tornadoes and harpoons and kick people and punch the ball. Um, it, this game has been getting crazy, and and there's also another update coming out really soon, which is Aqua Dome, I think it is. I really played this game a lot. One of my favorite games of this generation. Uh, I also have here Injustice because it's a fighting game. So I decided to put it in the in the sports folder. So I keep it there. And I'm still playing it a lot. Especially after watching the latest movies like uh, Suicide Squad and Superman vs. Batman. And I'm a huge fan of the Flash TV show and the, the, the Legends of, of Tomorrow. So I've been playing this game a lot and i can't wait for injustice 2 um the show 16 one of my favorite sports game i have it there and one of my favorite this um of all the versions that have come out for the playstation 4 for me 16 is the best version especially because in road to the show you just finish a game and you jump to the next next game without quitting the the going to the menus and all that i really love it um nba 2k16 i downloaded for free it was free i think it was last month uh it's really cool uh but i'm not really far in so i put it there um here i got my action and platformers folder um here you got ratchet and clank which by far is one of my favorite games this uh, year I really love it very very beautiful um, infamous second son which is uh, one of my favorite games of this generation on the PlayStation 4 some people don't really like it some people say that one and two was better and this is awful I disagree I think they they're all awesome and I like this one too and you got first light here as well which is one of my favorite DLCs there you got Disney infinity 3.0 which I played a lot I have a couple videos on my other channel uh, which is awesome. The last, I think, the last gameplay or toy thing I got is this one. It's the fighting battlegrounds. 
awesome 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 so for me disney infinity one, one of my favorite games this generation too um you got assassin's creed syndicate i haven't played that much this game i think i played like three hours of this game but i need to get this game later on maybe when it comes on sale on black friday i might get this game very very cheap uh lords of the fallen was a game that was is available right now for free so if you got playstation plus uh, you could try it out I still have, haven't even started the game. It, the game is installed, but I still haven't even started the game. So let me know if you do like that game and it, if it's worth playing or not. Uh, right here, I got another folder with indie games. We got Until Dawn, which is one of my favorite games as well. Life is Strange, awesome game. Totally finished it. I, I only need to go back to take a couple pictures so I can get some uh, tro um, the platinum. But I really, really love this game. Batman, the Telltale series, is amazing. One of my favorite Telltale games so far. Uh, Batman is awesome, and the story is incredible. And I can't wait to finish it, but right now I'm busy playing other games. No Man's Sky, played this game like almost for 30 hours. Really liked it, but I just got bored of it. And right now I am not playing this game at all. I just got bored of it, you know. I, you're doing the same thing over and over and over again and for me I, I there's too many games out there uh, hell divers one of my favorite indie games that's available also for playstation vita i have it there wrestle gun Re uh, journey is available for free this month uh, mega baseball super mega baseball very cool baseball game arcadey i think this game should be on the playstation vita guys uh, let's do a petition for that. <laughs> we got Dead Star. I haven't even played this game. I don't know what's it about, but I downloaded it for free. Uh, Dust and Azillion Tell. This is a very beautiful game, and I think this game should also be on the PlayStation Vita. So we should do so, a couple petitions here on games that should be on the PlayStation Vita. So Unfinished Swan, really loved it. Finished it on the PlayStation Vita. Beautiful game. Lara Croft and the Temple Cyrus, beautiful game. I haven't finished it yet. I think I'm not, I haven't even played an hour of this game, but it's a very cool game. Uh, you got Grow Home, Disney Infinity, uh, Disney Frozen Free Fall. Uh, very beautiful game. I, I, I play a lot with my daughter, and she really loves it. And it's cute. You know, it's one of those um, color matching gems games. You got World of Tanks, barely play this game. Guns Up, very cool game. Lossy, I have, I barely played this game. Gone Home, very cool game. Downloaded for free, got bored of it. Kill Strain, haven't touched this game at all, so most likely I will be deleting a couple games here. Sky Force, I finished it on the PlayStation Vita. Beautiful game, uh, it's worth getting if you like these type of uh, games. Um, and on the PlayStation Vita is awesome. So yeah, I finished that game on the Vita. Brutal, another cool. Uh, indie game that was sent to me and I really enjoyed it uh, It has a very cool mechanics and I think I already did upload a video about this game So let's go ahead and see what's on the other folder. I got a folder for media uh, I here I put all the applications that uh, I barely use so I put here uh, share factory This is a very cool application to edit your videos uh, Here you got capture gallery. This is where all my recordings is at uh, media player when you plug in a USB drive on the PlayStation 4 uh, this is the media the application that you will of course be using uh, right now I can't use it I don't have a uh, uh, USB drive connected to it um, here you got Spotify which now lets you play video games and listen to Spotify at the same time and it works really really good uh, you got the browser there I got playroom which I don't use PlayStation video, I don't use it. Live from PlayStation, I don't use that either. PlayStation Now is a horrible PlayStation service that lets you play old games instead of having real backwards compatibility. It lets you play these games on PC and, and PlayStation Vita. But for me, the experience is horrible, so I don't use that either. I might as well delete it, but I can't. <laughs> Here you got Headset Companion. If you have one of those awesome PlayStation headsets, you're going to want to download this so you can customize your audio and all that. And other than that, let's see what other folder we got here. We got the Shooter folder. Uh, in this folder, I got Uncharted 4, which is one of my favorite games this generation. Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Menace. Fa Phantom Pain, Phantom Menace. I uh, love this game. One of my favorite games of this generation as well. The Division. Loved it. Uh, 
one of, uh, one of my favorite games this year as well. In Doom, I play like two hours of it. I need to get it back again, but I think I'm going to wait for a Black Friday. I think this is going to be another Black Friday purchase, which I most likely be able to get it very, very cheap. So, yeah. Deadpool, very awesome game. Uh, guess I'll wait for Black Friday to get it again. I played a little bit of it. A very cool game. I love the Deadpool movie, so I decided to try it out the game, and I really liked it. Uh, Resident Evil, one of my favorite games of, the, of ever. And a, this is the HD version, which it looks very, very beautiful. Del Sex Mankind Divided. I was started playing this game, but I couldn't get into it. I don't know why, because I I played the first one, and I finished it. But I don't know why I couldn't keep playing this game. I just got bored of it. And I decided to go ahead and keep playing my <laughs> game that I've been playing on the Xbox One. Yes, because I've been playing ReCore. So, yeah, I haven't played, I haven't even played like an hour of this game. Uh, and that's it. Here we got Library. You can see all the photos that I have. Uh, 39 games installed here on the PlayStation 4. That's including all the uh, indie games. Applications, 27 games. 27 applications. That's including the applications that you cannot delete. Like, for example, this one. I cannot delete this application. So, yeah, that's 27 applications there. And purchased. I got 164 items purchased. These are games and applications that at one moment... I did purchase or download it on the PlayStation 4, so they will always be here for me uh, being able to download it whenever I want. So that's cool that you can always have easy access to all the games that you purchased before back in the days. So here, I want to show you guys, I got a, let's go and show you guys the storage that I have, uh, system storage. I installed a one terabyte hard drive on my PlayStation 4 a long time ago. And I like, see here, I only have available 37.57 gigabytes. I have 684 gigabytes of application. That's including the games and the applications. Capture Gallery, 126 gigabytes. So here you can see a lot of gameplays of games that I've been uh, recording using the share button. So yeah, there's a lot of gigabytes here that I should be deleting so I can make more space later on for new games installations. And here you got save data, which you can actually access it from there or download it to a USB drive. And basically that's it. Um, here are trophies, I don't have that much. I'm on, I'm on level 20. Um, platinum trophy, like see, I only have four platinum trophy because I barely hunt for platinum trophies. I do play a lot of games, but you know, if the trophy is easy to get, I'll get it. But if it's not, I, I don't really care. I just care finishing the game and that's it and playing the next game. So here we got the new cover. Uh, right here, I got the Batman cover. Uh, if I wanna change the cover, I could change right here the cover. Um, and this is a actually a screenshot from the game that I took while playing Arkham Knight. Is it Arkham Knight or something like that? Uh, if I want to change it, I'll just go like that and I could choose this right here, which I really like. Click her right there and I could go ahead and hit here. It's going to click like that. There you go. And that's it. That's how I can change my cover and it looks pretty cool. I really like this update that Sony came out with 4.0. So yeah, those are my trophies and my level and that's my cover. And let's go ahead and show you guys what else can I show you guys messages. I get a lot of messages from people. I'm sorry I can't uh, answer a lot of times. Here in friends, I have, I should have over 1,800 friends. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's let it load. Uh, there it goes, 1,874. So right now I got 144 friends playing. No groups. Following, I'm following Adam Boys, Greg Miller, Naughty Dog. Uh, now playing I can see my the players players met friend requests I got a lot of friend requests and I'm sorry a lot of times I cannot accept the friend requests because my list is full But right like you see there. I only have 1874. So I should be able to accept Friend requests. Let's go and accept a couple in this video Let's go there. Let's go there 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 So if you see yourself on this video, I hope you don't mind There you go. Look at that you already added this player to your friend. Okay, let's see. Keep adding, keep adding. It's cool that they made it very easy to accept French 
friends now. Look at that. I keep on setting a lot of them. Let's see how right now I got 1881. 1899. Let's go ahead and set up a couple more. I think the maximum is um, 2000. So once you hit 2000, you will not be able to add any more and people will not be able to send you friend requests. So right here, we're accepting a whole bunch of friends here. There you go. For all you guys begging for a friend request, there you have it. <laughs> I'm trying to add as much as I can. There you go. That's awesome. Look at that. There you go. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, uh, uh. I'm sorry, but I'm going to stop right here because of the video. And look at that. I got all the way up to 1961. Awesome. Wow, that was over 60 or 70 friends accepted right there on the video. So, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. This was a video of what's on my PlayStation 4 and what's my setup. Right now, I cannot launch this application because... Of course, I have to enable that so I can be able to record this using the Elgato screen capture. Um, and that's it, guys. Thanks for watching the video. This was my video of what's on my PlayStation 4 and my setup. Let me know what's your setup and what's your favorite game of this generation. And uh, let me know if you like videos like this. Till next time, guys.